teammates Max Aaron, 2013 US champion. When I go back and look at the, the moment in 2013, winning my first title, uh, I remember the joy and the happiness that came with it. Everyone on their feet here for Max Aaron. Having my parents there, coming in as the eighth place finisher the year before, and no one expected me to win or do any damage, and I was just there to have fun and enjoy it with my family. My mindset has changed over the years since then because I feel like now that I've done so many events, I can adapt to pretty much anything. I feel like nothing can stop me from a goal or a dream that I want to achieve. He's really taken ownership of his training in a different way. A huge emphasis is on raising his component scores and him paying attention to a lot of choreographic detail that maybe in the past he hasn't. And then, of course, adding a quad to the short and possibly four quads in the long. We have a lot of basic drills I do with Tom on the ice. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of time looking at the small detail work that it's tedious, but really the little details will pay off. It just takes time. Weeks and weeks and weeks of doing this will eventually pay off. The small improvement will make the huge improvement in the end. So the mantra I always go to when I have a tough day or a day that I don't want to push is from Jimmy V's speech. It's don't give up, don't ever give up. And that means a lot to me. There's moments and times that I want to give up and quit just because it's tough or I'm too tired. And having that in the back of my mind reminding me that it's going to be tough and it's going to be hard, but don't give up, don't ever give up. I think the thing that I love about doing both skating and school is that they're completely separate, completely different. I'm competitive in both, but when I'm on the ice, I'm on the ice and I'm training and I'm focused on training. But when I'm out of the rink and in school, I can focus on school and that's it. Athletes that are able to go to school and train really get good at compartmentalizing. When they're on the ice, it's all business about the ice, and then when they leave the ice, they shift their focus. He does that so well, and I really think it's really added another dimension to his life, which has made him mature and be a lot more comfortable. I'm excited. I know the goals I have, how I want to achieve it. So I'm just going to put the blinders on and pedal to the metal. My bigger goals this season would be making that Olympic team that I've been waiting to do.